Hello, so today we're running this uh, 2500 k uh, As you can see it's a pretty good one. So far we are at um, 1.4 volts at 5.1 gigahertz as you can see there and it has scored 600 oh sorry 700 and 5 in Cinebench so I'm just going to take you into the BIOS and show you the settings there's the memory settings by the way so here we go we're in the BIOS of the uh, Asus Maximus 5 Extreme and as you can see we're running 5.1 GHz 2175 on the memory uh, that's with a base clock of 102 and a multiplier of 50 these are the RAM timings that we're currently running now interestingly this uh, DRAM CLK period here if I set this manually uh, I've tried a few values um, but it just seems to not post so I've just left it on auto not really sure what set it to if anyone has any ideas put them in the comments below this is PSC uh, memory so on the um, settings for the power control and the VRM you can see the settings here probably should put on 150 So there you go. There's your voltages. So that yellow one that you can't see is 1.15. PLL 1.625. And then all these are just on auto, basically. So we're going to try 5.2. See if that works. So I'm just going to bump the multiplier up one. Now, while it's booting up, we are running water cooling in the garage, so there's a Maximus 5 Extreme and the 1080 radiators up there, pump in there, all the water cooling bits in. Right, so we're in Windows, I'm just going to start CPU-Z, make sure we're at the right speed, 5.2 GHz. Open up Cinebench. So it has failed. Not surprising. Let's give it a bit more voltage. So I've set 1.425 volts in the BIOS and come back into Windows. So you can see now it's reading 1.44 in CPU-Z, 5.2 still obviously. Into 1.56 under load because obviously it's on extreme uh, load line calibration. So the VRM is actually overvolting the CPU rather than undervolting it. So we go, scored a bit higher past this time, fairly easily. So we'll see if we can go to 5.3 next. So we're now booted in at 5.3. I have actually upped the voltage significantly, so it's we're at 1.4 volts for 5.1. Then we were at 1.425 volts for 5.2, and that's in the BIOS. 
Um, for 5.3, we've had to up it to 4. Point, no, sorry, 1.495. So we'll run at this and see what happens. So there we go. 720 points. Very nice. Reach 69 degrees. So we'll go for 5.4 next. See what happens. So we're in Windows at 4. Point, uh, 5.4, sorry, and it's taken just over 1.55 volts. I think it's slightly less than that in the BIOS. Um, and we're going to try and run Cinebench again. See how it goes. 5.4 gigahertz. So it's going up to 1.568 volts. Now you'll notice the temperatures are actually a little bit lower than before, so it's only getting to 56 degrees now. And that's because I've uh, cleaned the water block out because I was having some flow issues. It had uh, maybe a piece of grass or something in there. So obviously I fill my um, water cooling reservoir slash cool box from the hose pipe and it must have had a bit of grass in that's got sucked into the pump and then gone into the water block so that's why the temperatures were so high so it's actually only reached 56 degrees this time despite having way more voltage so there we go 738 we'll go to 5.5 next and uh, see if it'll do that maybe will maybe won't so this is getting pretty high for a 2500k now, so this is definitely a good one. So now we're at 5.5, it's taking quite a bit more voltage, you can see well over 1.6 volts now. Um, and the temps are getting pretty spicy as you'll see when it's running. Hopefully it passes. Yep, there you go. That's 5.5 gigahertz on an i5 2500K in Cinebench. Max temperature 67 degrees, not too bad. Over 750 points, pretty decent. I think that's it for this one. Might do a bit of an update later. Might try see what we can max it out on two cores uh, for like a single thread benchmark, but for multi-thread. Uh, I don't think we can do much more on the water cooling, so that'll be it for now. To give you an idea of how good a properly bin CPU is, that just blue screened at 5.4 gigahertz on the same settings that the one I was just used in the video a minute ago at 5.5 at 1.6 volts. I've got a different one in now, it's my super binned one, which is supposed to do 5.7, but it does 5.3 at 1.4 volts basically, all well, the same settings that the other one has, and it will be at 5.4, perfectly fine, I'll just show you the voltage a second, so you can see down there 1.4 volts. That's 1.4 volts in BIOS, but obviously we've got extreme LLC on, so... Oh, that's funny, it's crashed this time. But it was in Windows running Cinebench a second ago as you saw. It was pretty funny. Obviously I don't want to do it for the camera. But it was halfway around Cinebench. I mean it literally almost finished at 5.4. So we'll, we'll give it another go.
computer says no, needs some more voltage. There we go. So 1.45 volts in BIOS now, which is obviously a fair bit more than it was on a minute ago when I just showed you. So we're just going to run it 5.4. Getting up to 1.48 volts, as you can see there. So, I think the other CPU that I just tested in the video um, did 5.4 at 1.53 volts in the BIOS or something like that. So it was quite a lot and it needed 1.6 volts in the BIOS to do 5.5. You'll see that this CPU is quite a bit better, although it doesn't actually go that much higher overall just because sandy bridges tend to hit the wall and then uh, they don't go any higher. There you go, 5.4, easy peasy, 1.48 volts. So we'll go for 5.5 and see if it works. Now I have run Cinebench on this chip before outside back in 2016 uh, at 5.46 gigahertz. And that was on the ASRock Z77 OCF, uh, which unfortunately died. So now we're on the Asus Maximus 5 Extreme. I'm hoping it will perform a little bit better than that. So let's now try and boot it at 5.5. At the same voltage as 5.4, so it's probably not going to pass Cinebench. Don't get your hopes up, but we'll just see if it boots. There you go, 5.5, 1.4 volts, well 1.45 volts. So we'll try and run Cinebench anyway, just for the memes. I'll uh, get the temperature thing up again as well. So you can see what temperature it hits before it crashes. So it is actually running which is crazy. So the other CPU is at 1.6 volts at this point. It's just hitting over 50 degrees, so that's crashed just there. Let's see what the blue screen is. 101 needs a bit more voltage. So I've got 1.5 volts set in BIOS now, so it's running at 1.52 on idle. Probably get a bit higher during the benchmark if it runs. There we go, I'll make the camera so you can see. Try it. The problem is it tries to focus on the centre of the screen, which is that black bit there. So I have to offset it a little bit onto the grey bit so it picks stuff up. So it's going to 1.536 volts and it's going around nicely. There we go. So the other one needed 1.6 volts. And this one's at 1.5 volts, and we're getting the same score. So, hopefully, it'll do 5.6. I'll uh, have a bit of a mess around and see if I can get it to run. So, here we are at 5.6, 1.54 volts, it's in the BIOS. 
don't know if it's going to work or not, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. Okay, so that's crashed. Be interesting to see what the blue screen is. Hit 1.576 volts. There we go, 101. So it does need a little bit more voltage, I think. We'll, uh, we'll give it a bit more and uh, see if it can manage it. So we've given it a bit more juice now. 1.84, 1.76 idle, which is what it was running at during the benchmark last time. So it should get almost 1.6, there it is, 1.6 under load. And uh, hopefully it doesn't go too much over 70 degrees, because I don't, I don't really like to go over 70 on the water. And it has crashed again. So I'm guessing there's some PLL or something like that that needs doing, or it might need more voltage, who knows. Hmm. Maybe a little bit more. Dun, dun, dun. So there we go. 5.6 gigahertz. Cinebench R15 stable-ish. 773. 5.62 GHz, 1.6-ish volts, when it's actually under load. There are the memory timings, which I might be able to tighten a bit. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Very nice. See if I can get any higher. So this is what it can do in 11.5, so we're at 5.6. 4.6 now, and as you can see it's got 9.04 points, which is a new personal best for me. My previous highest score was 8.96, so that puts me up a couple of places I think. So next I'm going to try Geekbench 3, and see if I can get it to run that, but this is more memory intensive, and this CPU doesn't seem quite as good on the memory as the other CPU that I tried. Uh, I'm having to run 7, 11, 7, 26 rather than 7, 10, 7, 24. So the memory controller is not quite as good. I'm having to run 1.2 volts on the SA voltage and the IO voltage as well. So unfortunately it's crashed there, so it's not going to do that, try a W prime. I'm going to run 124M, not very exciting, so I'll pause it and come back if it passes.